It is Australia Day, and that means I could look at this video, or I could look at this video. Yeah. I'm going to choose this video. Hello, I'm from the Australian Government. Are you ready for Amnesia Day? Amnesia Day is our national holiday, when we come together as one to forget our dodgy history with the help of our favourite memory inhibitor. Don't worry, alcohol will make you forget all that bad stuff that's happened. Tastes like a peaceful settlement. Amnesia Day! Sadly, Amnesia Day is under threat. Each year, more and more Aussies are refusing to celebrate on January 26. What's causing this perverse behaviour? Reading a history book. Some of these factards are spending Amnesia Day actually remembering what it commemorates. Which are I just, I, I honestly absolutely love uh, the honest ads. Because, let's be honest, it is true. It is true. And I think, I think the meaning now should change a little bit to what it originally was. And I'll get to that later. Uh, that'll probably be my little end speech. But there are clearly a lot of people, including white people here, that are protesting against it. You would think it would just be uh, the indigenous Aboriginal people, but it's not. You can see from the pictures, there are plenty of white people that disagree with... Australia Day. Which of course is the day the British arrived and started colonising the lands of the oldest continuing culture on I'm Earth. Trying to wipe the out kangaroo. Everything. Amnesia Day. Worst of all, city councils are responding to their community's concerns by moving events and celebrations to another day. But don't worry, here at the Australian Government, we know how to gently bring everyone together in harmony. Celebrate, Celebrate your pieces, pieces of shit. Because Australia Day is all about honouring what makes us great. Our freedom. It is now, now mandatory, mandatory towards, towards citizenships, citizenships only, only on January 26th. I hate, I hate, I hate when people say about freedom. What Western civilization, let alone any civilization, has freedom? You're not free. You're not. Well, you're in the extent that yes, you're free to do whatever you want, but you're not free of the consequences. So come on, Australia, crack a tinny, shower a baby sheep, stick a flag on your car, or your knob, and crank up the hottest 100. <laughs> yes, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Please don't tell me that those Johnnies have an Australian flag on. That is mental. Please don't say they do. Just, that is too much. Too much. No, and crank up the hottest 100, which has now been moved to. What the f- It is now mandatory to have- What is the hottest 100? Let me know, because I have no idea what that is. Fun only on January 26. You know what? Fuck it. We'll change the date. Then we can pretend that we fixed everything and ignore the structural changes our First Nations actually want us to make. Nah, just kidding. We'll keep the date and keep pretending to fix shit. Like by appointing this dickhead to be Indigenous envoy. Lol. Here's how you can help save Amnesia Day from all these woke don't make the day political. Actually, please do it. GOMO really needs to stoke a culture war before the election. It's all we've got left. Don't question tradition. That's a sign of a mature thinking nation which is able to grow. Mature thinking nation, bad. rat ass <laughs> unconscious nation, good. And if anyone questions tradition, tell them to get over it and that it's all in the past. Sure, you'll be saying the exact opposite when Anzac Day comes round in a few months. But by then, you'll have forgotten all about it anyway. Happy Amnesia Day. Well. Authorised by the Department for Piting like it's 1788. <laughs> I love the little ending. Um, right, let, let's talk serious, shall we? Um, let's let's be real, okay? Invasion... No, no even on, <laughs> so I did not mean to say that. Right, hang on. Australia Day. I think what it should be, what it should be nowadays let's forget what it has been uh but what it should be is celebrating everything that is australian now that's not just the white man or woman uh that is what was there before before the british you know tried to colonize or they did colonize you know what i mean let's think about what the country represents and what it should represent you know multicultural um look at the history it's actually using an educated brain to see what there was not just what there is now you know what have what has been lost and what is there going to be there in the future 
it's it's let's let it's not about being ignorant you know there has been serious suffering now obviously this is well before any of our times but you've got to still learn about that so it doesn't happen again i feel sometimes and this happens with in in germany for example due to the world war it, it, there's been plenty of reports of young germans now who feel guilty about what happened in you know in the 30s and 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 the the, the first world war and the second world war but actually it's got nothing to do with them and there shouldn't be any guilt so i'm trying to link link that with this in that you know there shouldn't be any guilt about wanting to celebrate your country but it should be more educated and actually including everyone the indigenous aboriginal people were there first and that's not saying that now they've got a right to land because time has moved on time has moved on i wouldn't say get over it but what i would say is everyone's living together everyone should be equal we are all human and I, i've said this in a few videos we are all human so i don't think it should be called invasion day or anything like that it should be australia day i don't think the day needs changing i think it just needs to be a celebration of everything everything that makes australia australia i hope you agree if you don't that's cool let me know in the comments down below have a lovely australia day or whatever you whatever else you want to call it Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.